Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the Engineering and Technical Manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, I want to take a few moments and talk about your ER tool holders. Just exactly what are you using to hold on to that ER collet? What type of nut? Is there an advantage to changing that nut out? Let's take a look and see what we have to offer. Okay, for this example, I'm gonna use an ER32 tool holder. I've got that right here, and I've taken the nut off. So let's talk about what RegoFix used to supply, what we supply now, and how that compares to the other nuts that are available in the industry. So let's start off with what we used to supply for tool holders like this. And that simply is the UM nut. Uh, this nut has been supplied pretty much since the beginning of the ER system, back when RegoFix invented that in 1972. It is a full eccentric groove on the inside, or eccentric lip, uh, machined threads, and a ground surface for the nut contact area. The outside is shot peened to resist rust. This nut was used up until 1997, and did not supply you or give you any kind of clamping force advantage other than just its basic accuracy for threads and mating contact area. Uh, this was the basis for a very long time, like I said, from 72 all the way to 97. But in early 98, a new nut came out, and that nut was the high Q nut. Now, I'm saying a new nut, and I'm saying 1998. Yes, it's been around a while, but it is still the absolute best nut on the market. This nut is designed to be balanced by design. It does not have an eccentric lip on the inside. It's actually a parabolic shape, and the parabolic shape is counterbalanced by use of the outside locks for the wrench. So depending on which, where the, which groove you are looking at, depends on how deep it is, which helps balance the tool holder by design. The collet does snap in. And you'll notice when you look on the inside that it is all black on the inside, black on the threads, black on the mating surface. This black surface treatment, well, probably shouldn't say surface treatment. It's more like an impregnation. It's part of the hardening process. It creates a very hard, slick surface that reduces the friction this nut sees on the tool holder while you're clamping it down with your torque wrench. And that reduction in friction allows you to have higher clamping forces and better TIR by sliding across the top of the collet and not catching it as it goes. This is called the High Q nut and this is supplied with all RegoFix products, uh, standard type of CNC machine products and Swiss machines as well. If that doesn't provide you with enough clamping force, we actually have the option of going to a friction bearing nut. Friction bearing nut does not have actual ball bearings in it. It's actually two bearing surfaces that are actually chemically coated to provide an even higher reduction in friction. So the inner part can stay still and I can rotate the outer part around. This allows me to use more of my nut torque to push the collet down into the collet cavity generating clamping force. Uh, again, this is the ultimate style of ER clamping nut that we have to have available to offer to you. So what are other people supplying? So it's always nice to talk about what else is available or what other people are supplying and how it may not match up or hold up to what RegoFix is supplying. So I'm gonna pick on two different two different nuts. Uh, I have a bright and shiny nut here. This is supplied by a variety of different, uh, different customers out there. They're all getting it from the same place. It is a very nicely machined nut. Uh, it's bright and shiny. It has nice deep, deep pockets for the wrench. It has machined threads and a nice machine ground surface for the, uh, the collet to ride against. The only problem is I hold up the UM nut from 1972, and it really looks a lot like that, except this one is shot peened and this one is bright and shiny. Uh, looking on the inside, they look virtually the same. 
Uh, there's no advantage to this nut at all. Uh, it is a full friction style, meaning everything on this will provide friction to the tool holder, friction on the threads, friction on the face of the race inside of the nut that the collet rides on. Uh, it is functional, it will clamp, but the top of your collet will see a lot of, a lot of friction, as will the threads on the tool holder. So 1972 technology still being offered by a lot of our customers or a lot of our competitors uh, out there today.